I uh, think there's no question but that we live in an inhabited universe that has life all over it. I was sort of interested in uh, Carl Sagan's saying there were 250 billion stars like our sun and our galaxy. I've been using the number 100 billion, but this is an inflationary period. <laughs> I rather like uh, Eddington's old paradigm for the situation. 10 to the 11th stars make a galaxy. 10 to the 11th galaxies make a universe. Those are good numbers still. And as for our own galaxy, it's estimated that perhaps 1 to 5% of the stars in it could provide on their planets, some of their planets, and a book for life. Now that would mean a billion such places just in our own galaxy that might contain life. And as for what life would mean in those places, I think it would mean something very like the life we know. Not the same creatures, we didn't have the same creatures on the earth during its past as live here now. But life anywhere in the universe, I've been convinced for years, must be made of the same elements that principally constitute it here. Carbon, hydrogen, <coughs> nitrogen, and oxygen. Those four elements constitute about 99% of living material on the Earth, and I think are likely to come out that way wherever life exists. And may I say, so that we can have a somewhat warmer and livelier conversation as this meeting goes on, I conceive, can conceive of no nightmare as terrifying as establishing such communication with the so-called superior or, if you wish, advanced technology in outer space. What do you worry about, George? What's going to happen when one of these books are printed? Oh, I think a degree of uh, degradation of the human enterprise. One of the greatest of human enterprises is our understanding. It's something that men have sweated out to the greater dignity and worth of man. And you see the thought that we might attach as by an umbilical cord to some more advanced Civilization, science, and technology in outer space doesn't thrill me, but just the opposite. I try to imagine back when I, when I was uh, working hard as a student, okay, there were a lot of textbooks. I would open up those textbooks, and in there would be what other guys had found out. Now, I didn't approach each phrase saying, oh my god, they know that also. <laughs> I uh, do not, as I've said, uh, look upon the possibility of uh, some continuous transmission that will completely supersede all further human uh, efforts in this direction.